Hi, I'm Meg, and today I'm talking to you guys about a book called The Girl You Lost by Catherine Croft. A few quick facts. The Girl You Lost is an amalgamation of two book ideas that Catherine had. Catherine also got a lot of the ideas of all the terrible things that happened in the book from a very close friend of hers. We won't give too much away. Things you may not know. Catherine cannot relax in a day until she has completed her word count goal of a thousand words a day. She would describe herself as perfectionist, passionate, dedicated, ambitious, and caring. Into the book. The Girl You Lost by Catherine Croft. It's a mystery or a thriller. And I would say the target audience is mainly women. I listened to this book in audio format on Audible and it cost me one Audible credit as I have a membership. What I loved, I loved the storyline, I loved how unpredictable the story was and I loved the fast pace. What I hated, I hated the ending even though I thought it was pretty brilliant. My favourite part, I honestly can't choose one favourite part. This book had so many amazing parts to it. My first impression, the title had me intrigued from the start. I really like the book cover as it's very similar to a lot of other books on the market that I've read um, and enjoyed. So that got me hooked. It had a great book blurb which immediately left me wanting more and wanting to know what happens. For me it was an easy read, however there are parts of the book that may not be suitable for sensitive readers like rape and violence. My initial reaction, I was hooked from the first chapter, I absolutely loved it. I just wanted to know what was happening all the way through. My favourite quote, you can't erase the past but you can make sure that your future isn't dictated by it. Themes that I found throughout the book, lying. Which character did I like the most? Simone. I did like Simone a lot. Three words that I would use to describe this book are traumatic, twists, and shocking. Doesn't that just make you want to know more about this book? Doesn't that just make you want to read it? Mm-hmm, it's a good one. Who do I see playing the character's roles in a movie? Simone, I see as Ellen Pompeo from Grey's Anatomy. Helena or Grace, Lucy Hale. Matt, Ryan Eggold. Abbott, a really young Sean Connery. Charlotte Grey, Ashley Benson. Tamsin Grey, Charlotte's mom. Jessica Capshaw, Lucas Hall, Sullivan Stapleton. And Ginny Rhodes, Charlize Theron, but more when she did her role in Monster. Kind of like it. Maybe not that extreme, but a little bit in between. So not a beautiful Charlize Theron. Did I know? No, I didn't. This book was filled with twist after twist after twist. I loved it, so it was so good. Some things I did predict, but I definitely did not predict what happened to Helena or Grace. I loved the ending because, I, no, I hated the ending. No, I loved it. No, I hated it. I still can't decide. It was a fantastic ending though, because it left me wanting more and it left me wondering if it could still possibly be true. The plot is fantastic. It makes the reader like characters that they possibly shouldn't like and not like characters that they possibly should like. What type of person would like this book? If you are into psychological thrillers, this one is a great book for you. If you enjoyed books like Gone Girl um, and The Girl on the Train, that have really unreliable narrators, then this is a so great book for you to read. You'll love this one. Rating, definitely a thumbs up. Actually, I would give this one two thumbs up. It was a great book and I would give it a nine out of 10. Thank you so much for watching this book review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've read the book and let me know what you thought. Also, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.